Hello and welcome back. Before I start, I want to say a big thank you to Fiora Dippy and Silk Sunrise for following me. You're my first followers and that means a lot. Um, and really, you can't, you can't stream without anyone watching. Well, I suppose you can, and I probably would anyway, but the fact that I know that there's people out there who are watching me and supporting me, it, it just feels really nice. Um, so, thank you very much. So, let's get this started. We're in the kitchen. Whoops, didn't mean to run all the way over there. We've got Fred. We've sorted out all the rats in there. So, what have we got next to do? Let's open our... That's not my journal, that's my inventory. So... Kuzland's father talk father's talk your father turn Bryce Kuzland and Arl Hal have been summoned by King Kaelin to the battle at Hostagar however Arl Hal's forces have been delayed you have been sent to tell your brother Fergus that he should leave for Ostagar ahead of your father Fergus is probably in his room saying goodbye to his wife and child brilliant so we've done the side quest that was over here we've visited these places. So let's make our way around here to go and talk to Fergus. Come on, dog. Oh, come on, Fred. What's through there? Is that anything interesting? Oh. It's a room. An exciting room? A boring room? Or just a room? It's a boring room, Fred. There's no loot in here. I'm holding down shift and all that's glowing is the door. So, let's leave and head out this way. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Oh, there's people. Hello, people. Can I talk to you? And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my lovely daughter. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours, that the situation in the kitchen is handled? <laughs> yes, Mother. Nan is back to work as we speak. Yes, but there were giant rats in the larder. Nan's head exploded and my hound ate the kitchen staff. Or I'd rather not keep chasing this stupid dog. Well, no, we like chasing the wonderful dog. He may be a bit stupid, but he's... Well, he's not stupid. He was a clever boy. So... Yes, there were giant rats in the larder. I think that's worth telling Mum. Ah, oh, marvellous. Just the thing for my guests to hear right before dinner. Oh, good point. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Lan Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Hello. Um, of course, it is good to see you again, my lady. Weren't you drunk? If you say so, or this will have to wait, Father sent me to find Fergus. Well, he did send me to find Fergus, but... I'm being polite, I should probably talk to this woman as I've been introduced, so I'm going to very diplomatically not mention her drinking. Um, so yes, it's, of course, it is good to see you again, my lady. You're too kind, dear girl. Didn't I spend half the salon trying to convince you to marry my son? <laughs> and made a very poor case for it, I might add. You remember my son? Dyron. He's not married yet, either. Don't listen to her. It's good to see you again, milady. You're looking as beautiful as ever. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Flatterer. Go soak your head, or you're looking handsome yourself. Thank you. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great pleasure, my lady. You are as pretty as your mother describes. You would think that it would make it easier to make a match for her, but more <laughs> difficult. Perhaps your daughter simply has a mind of her own, your ladyship. You should be proud. Proud mm. doesn't get me any more grandchildren. <laughs> Assuming I want to have grandchildren. I can handle my own affairs, thank you. May I go now, mother? You are aware that we're at war. Or perhaps we should speak another time, Darren. Darren, Darren. Dairon, I can't remember how they pronounced it. Um, oh, alone. Oh, oh, 
Perhaps we should speak alone sometime. Is that me going, ho oh, ho ho, hello, Dairon, Dairon, Darren. Come and speak to me alone and maybe get on one knee in the parlour. Or something. I don't know. Or... <laughs> um, I think I can hand... Well, I can handle my own affairs. I've been put in charge of the castle. Thank you very much, Mother. Um, but I'm trying to be diplomatic. Uh, sod it. I can handle my own affairs. Thank you. All evidence to the contrary. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Oh, off he goes with Iona. Good evening, your ladyship. Maybe they're retiring somewhere alone. Oh, goodbye. Have you all... You've disappeared. Very nice. Um, hello, Mum. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. You're right, I should go. Did you know there's a Grey Warden here? Do you know where Fergus might be? Why can't I go with Father and Fergus? I know why I can't go with Father and Fergus. I've got to stay here. I have a bad feeling about all this. Ah, yep. Obi-Wan or Han, Han Solo, I have a bad feeling about all this too. Are you staying at the castle? Uh, you should say bye. Are you staying? Yeah. For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate, and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Well, yes, you should be in charge. I don't think you should go. I was about to suggest that myself, or as you wish. I think it'd be good if she went. Delightful. Then there's no argument. Did you know there's a Grey Ward in here? Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. The Darkspawn have returned. Grey Wardens are needed. Father wouldn't allow it. Would that be so bad, or definitely not? The Darkspawn have returned. Grey Wardens are needed. That's true. There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. So just because my older brother wants to go off and fight things means I can't. I think that's a bit unfair. I mean, I can see why, like... Mum and Dad wouldn't want me going off into trouble. Especially as my older brother is, because then if, like, something bad happens to him, I'm the one who's left, like, they'll have already lost a child. But, well, like, I want to live my own life. So, I should go. Do you know where Fergus might be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know where Fergus might if he's be? He's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. No. Uh, no, I know why I can't go, so I have a bad feeling about As this. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me, but it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. Mm, I should go. I love you, my darling girl. You know that, don't you? I'm hardly a girl any longer. What brought this on? Oh, I love you too. Yeah, I love you too. Go do what you must then. I will see you soon. Mm, why does that sound so final? Off we go! Do, 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 do. What's in there? It's another room with nothing in. Let's go and see if it truly... Oh, it's locked. Oh, I unlocked it. Tasty experience. Anything good in the room? No, just... Dog, what are you doing? It's a door dog. Maybe that's how he got into the pantry. He can float through doors! Woo! Clever dog! Magic dog! Ghost dog! Ghost dog away! So, what's in here? Yep, this is where we need to go. Open the door. Oh, well, that door looks a bit weird. What's happened to you? Right click can't unlock. Key required. Maybe that's why it's looking so weird. I wonder if that's one of the mods I've installed that's breaking that. Hmm. Very strange. Yep, let's go in here. Oh. That's another can't unlock. 
I shall do it. I live in this castle. I should be able to unlock everything. Oh, look, there's my brother. What's in a different room? It is begun. Sorry, brother. I know I have to go and get you, but I want to explore first. Is that a toilet, do you reckon? I reckon... Oh, that one might be. Or is that just a washing bowl? One of those will be the toilet, I'm sure, because... Is there a bedpan under the bed? No, there's nothing under the bed, and this is, I'm assuming, some sort of bath. Hmm. Oh, and I can't get anything out of this trunk. Boring. Anything good out there? One room. Okay. Again, it's locked. Boring. Is no. there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? A that sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little sister to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. He seems quite nice. They all seem quite nice. But can I have a sword? So, should I just wait outside? Just let me know when you two are finished. No darkspawn could harm Fergus. Well, that's he's just said there's no point putting rose-tinted glasses on it all. You two are nauseating me. No, they're sweet. They're a married couple. She's worried about him. Um, should I wait outside? There, I'll be polite. Stay. I'd like to say farewell. Oh. Um, I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. I wish I could go with you. You'll be missed, brother. Did you know there's a Grey Warden in the castle? Or do you really think the war will be over quickly? Well, it's never great, is it, when you want to know if the war will be over quickly? It never is. Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Mm -hmm. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. Did you know there's a Grey Warden in the castle? Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. A griffin? I heard that. Did he say why he's come? What an exciting child. Like, I'd love to go. Yes, he was riding a griffin that's as big as the dining room and twice as wide. No, twice as tall. It's covered in feathers and it has a big beak and it ate my dog. That's not my dog behind me. He can walk through doors. He's the ghost dog. Go, scurry little one. Go find the giant griffin and maybe it will eat you too. Or maybe you could take it for a ride. I don't know. Um, did he say why he's come? He said he's recruiting. He's going to test Sir Gilmore. It's not important. He's recruiting. Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little sister, I'd have my eye on you. Not that father would ever allow it. <laughs> um... You'll be missed, brother. Um, or I bring a mess. I want to say you'll be missed, but will that just get rid of the conversation? Um, I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <laughs> well, I'd better Maybe get underway. Are. So many darkspawn to be ahead. So little time. Off we go, then. I'll see you soon, my love. No. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. A good shield would be more useful. <laughs> Amazing. Um, you could have delivered your message yourself, father. Fergus will be fine. He just he just might need those prayers. And you could have delivered your message yourself, father. And miss having both my children in one place before I leave? Not likely. No. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. <laughs> uh, for the men, of course. Yes, not for Curtis, you. You would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? <laughs> a wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, <laughs> make us breath. It's like living with a pair of small boys. Thankfully, I have a daughter. 
I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her, sister, won't you? Well, how does she know I'm not going to go off and want to be with some wenches? Wenches and ale? That could be a good night. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. I'll miss you, mother dear. You take care of her sister. Uh, you can count on me. You'll need more protecting than her. Mother can handle herself. Always has. Yeah. It's true. They should be sending her, not me. She would scold those darkspawn back into the deep roads. Might be more well, effective. I'm glad you find this so funny. <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Oh, all the organizing. New codex, dark spot. I should look at these codexes, actually. Except they're quite long and I might bore people if I read through them. Um, I know you can see them all on the Dragon Age website. I might go through and read some of these maybe at the end of a stream. Um, but I don't want to interrupt this at the moment by reading through those and send whatever viewers I have to sleep. Oh, there's a book! I can actually look at this bookshelf! <gasps> New Codex. Ah, okay. So I won't read the book now. Never mind. Uh, woo, can I talk to any of you again? You should be on your way, pup. Long day ahead tomorrow. About this Grey Warden. Ah, I was wondering how long this would take. Has he asked to recruit you? And if he did? No, why would I want to be recruited? He hadn't. I was just wondering about him. If a blight is truly upon us in the south, then Grey Wardens will be needed. There is no higher calling. If it comes to that, we can talk about it when I get back. Until then, just show him every courtesy. Duncan is a fine man. And a hero. A hero? Mm. I know that I'll you'll do now. me proud. You've grown into a sensible woman. That much is clear. Hooray, I'm sensible! <laughs> Mama says you're going to be watching over us while Papa is gone. Is that true, Auntie? It is. I wish you wouldn't call me. No, it's nice being an auntie. Yes, that's true, Oren. Or it's not going to be very exciting. Yes, that's true, Oren. What if the castle is attacked? Will there be dragons? <laughs> dragons are terrible creatures, Oren. They eat people. Like the griffin yeah, in the dining I want room. To see one. This is your influence, Fergus. What? I didn't say anything. Are you going to teach me to use a sword, Auntie? Then I can fight evil too. Take that, dire bunny. All <laughs> dark spawn. Fear my sword of truthiness. <laughs> truthiness? Maybe. Ask your mother. I'm not much for swords myself, or. Well, that's obviously a lie, as I have two swords or daggers on my back. You bet. Let's go. You bet. I mean, he's a kid. He can start wielding a sword. I mean, even if it's just a little wooden play one, I mean, at his age, I had plastic swords and bits of tree and doing lightsaber battles as well as not lightsaber battles, sword battles. <laughs> yes, I know what a not lightsaber. It's a not glowing lightsaber made, made of metal, except my one wasn't. Never mind. Derailing myself. Um, you bet. Let's go. Fergus. There are times your family causes me great pain. Now, now, mind your mother, Oren. We must have known what you were marrying into. Anything. Don't worry, son. You'll get to see a sword up close real soon. I promise. <laughs> Let's talk to Oriana. If you should need any assistance in the coming days, I would be glad to offer it. Thank you. She seems really nice. I like her. Um, let's talk to Mum. Best do as your father says, darling. I will see you in the morning, bright and early. Woof, woof, woof. Fred agrees. Fergus? Getting sent to bed early, are we? Thanks, Fergus. Have fun on the long march in the cold. I'd still rather be going with you. I certainly hope not. Have fun on the long march in the cold. Hmm. <laughs> A warm bed doesn't sound so bad now, come to think of it. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone and be here when I get back. I'll miss you too, Fergus. No. Is that a trunk? I can't I can't use his trunk. Okay. So what do I have to do? I have to go to bed. Oh. Never enter battle with your bare hands. Use the inventory screen to equip new weapons or armor. 
For quick active access to restorative items like health poultices, drag them from the inventory to the cook bar along the bottom of the screen. That's a good point, I haven't done that. Thank you, loading screen tip. Ooh, it's night time. <gasps> and I'm in my underwear! What is it, boy? Angry barking and growling. Yeah, who's banging on my door at this time of night? He stares at the door and growls. What's wrong, boy? Is someone out there? I've just about had enough out of you today. No, he's been very good at protecting me in the castle today. Are you hearing rats again? Go after them already. No, what's wrong? Is there someone out there? I think that's a yes. My lady, help oh. me! The castle is under attack! <gasps> oh. Oh. That's not good. And I'm in my underwear. Oh no. Um. Um. What do I do? Right. If you're in your underwear... Well, for a start, I don't sleep in my underwear. I sleep in pyjamas. But if you suddenly have people coming to attack you, you'd be like, Oh, fuck. This is not what I planned to do at this time of night. I was asleep. Like, w w what are my hands doing? What are my legs doing? Uh, I hope I don't fall over on my way out of bed. And now I've got a fight. Um, so, dog... You can take the lead and run over there. Alyssa, you need to put some clothes on and I think they're in this trunk, so right-click loot. Okay, unpause. Hooray! It's all my stuff! Ooh! Ooh, I've got lots of arm- Ooh! Lots of arm- Take all! Oh, pause again. Dog, I told you to go over there. Go over there, Fred. Alyssa, put some clothes on. You definitely need clothes. So let's shove a health poultice onto the action bar. I know I've extended it a stupidly long amount, but I like having it along the bottom. It's all my time playing MMOs, just need everything all along the bottom, all my abilities, all in a nice little row. Weapons. So what are you like? Damage 4.8. April Ooh, oh, you're a longsword. Well, let's give offhand dagger. What speed is... What speed are you? You don't have a speed. <clears throat> Messy kills. Uh... Yeah, let's let's give you daggers. Or should we... Do you want the longsword? That looks a bit weird. You should probably have daggers. Do my abilities require daggers? No, but mm, yeah, you can have a long sword. See what happens. If it's a bit weird, then it's a bit weird. Uh, helmet. Yep, we want the helmet. And I've got the mod on, which means I should have no helmet. Yeah. So look, even though I've equipped my helmet, it doesn't show up because I've got this nifty little thing in the bottom of my inventory. Says the character using this book will toggle on off helmet graphics. So I've got my helmet in here, but I don't have to cover up my lovely face in here. Hooray! So, uh, gloves, yes, we need them. Boots, we need them. Armor, that's also useful. Ooh, look, pretty armor. Don't need the shield. Don't need my noble clothes. The ring does nothing. Can I make? Can I turn it into junk? Equip, equip, inspect, destroy. No. So you will just sit there being annoying. And my dro blood dragon plate requires 42 strength, which I very much do not have. But I've now got my equipment. Dog, run over there. Thank you. Dog, attack this man. How soldier? Mmm, very suspicious. No. Look. Come on, you're meant to look at my dog. Dog? Oh, you're a useless dog. Okay, fine. You go talk to that one. 
And they said that's quite a face. Attack him. Uh, dirty fighting. Hooray! He's done. Dog, while well, he's stunned, do you want to move a bit? And I'm going to see if I can get behind him. Because if I'm in that little black area, I get bonuses for flanking. I think, oh, so now he's not stunned anymore. Great. Below the belt. There we go. Fatigue's just talking about the stamina use. Oh, come on, dog. You're getting a lot of... A lot of... a lot. What's that called? Health. That's not good. Okay, join in on him. Oh, where are you going, you stupid man out there? Okay, he's going to start doing archery again, so let's move out of the way. Because then he'll have to run back in. Yep, here comes this little circle. There we go. Dog, you attack him. Alyssa, you run round and attack him from behind. I don't know why he just farted in lots of glowy yellow stuff. Most excellent. Most excellent. Is there going to be another cutscene? No, we're just sorted. Okay. It is begun. Oot. Larry and Potion. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, please. And is there anything else to loot while I'm in here? No. Okay, come on then, Fred. Let's see if we can open the doors with the Oh! Where's the turn? Tell us, how soldier and how soldier. Do I have anyone else? No, minimap says nothing else. So, dog, you go and attack that one. And you can growl at him. And Alyssa, you can just wait here until they come up to us. Yeah, okay. Below the belt. Oh, that's not good. Dirty fighting. Attack the same one. Yay! He's stunned. Okay, Alyssa, move over there. Dog, move over here. Hooray! Dog, you can attack that one. Alyssa, attack him while he's stunned. Yeah! Uh, everyone's standing at each other. Okay. That chess table is a bit in an awkward place. Dog, um, come back and attack this one as well so we can get rid of him together. I'm not doing great with my health. I might have to have a health poultice in a minute. That is quite an impressive lean back. Oh! Oh! I dinged! Hooray! No health potion for me because I'm back to full health. And I can't level up right now because I'm in a battle. Uh, so let's attack this one instead. Oh, begun. And I don't think Fred... Can Fred take health potions? I don't know, but he's leveled up as well. Very nice. Darling, I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? And I can see Silt Sunrise in chat, so hello! Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Brilliant. So, I'm fine, what's going on? I was about to ask you that. I'm fine, what's going on? A scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howe's men. Why would they attack us? Because Howe is a nasty, nasty man. He's betrayed father. He attacks while our troops are gone. I don't know, mother, but we need to get out of here. Maybe you want to find Howe and ask him. No, I think finding him would have lots and lots of bad people in the way. Um, yeah. He betrayed father. He attacks while our troops are gone. You don't think Hal's men were delayed? On purpose? Yes. That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. See, I said she'd be father? good against the Darkspawn. He never came to bed. Oh. And he wasn't with the tavern wench, no? No, I haven't. I was in my room. Maybe he stayed up with Oh, Hal. He could already be dead. Well, he could, but it's not going to help her morale if I say that. So, maybe he stayed up... Mm, no, I'm just going to say no, I haven't. I was in my room. We must find him. Yes, we must. Maybe you should stay here. Can you still handle a weapon, Mother? I ask while she's standing there in full armour. I think she can probably handle a weapon. It sounds like the battle's downstairs. We should check on Oriana and Oren as well. We should check on them. Andrus's mercy. 
What if the soldiers went into your brother's room first? Let's check on them quickly. Then we'll look for Bryce downstairs. Good plan, Mother. Are you in my party now? You are! Brilliant! So, I'm going to loot these people. I know you said quickly, but... Oh! Looted them from afar. Oh, I'm dog! Okay. So, first thing to do, check where we are. Can I loot anything from my mother's room? Excuse me, Mum. <gasps> Perhaps Look. we can salvage some things here, darling. Perhaps we can Some salvage. of your father's belongings are in that trunk. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my permission to look in the trunk. I was going to look anyway, but never mind. Another dagger, a great sword, a long bow, and a shield. Yes, thank you. I will take all of these. Now, mother, do you have a weapon? Let's check. She doesn't have a weapon at the moment. She has boring rings nice armor so she needs a weapon let's give her oh I don't know what her what are, what are her stats I can't how do I look at her stats I can't remember uh, journal no map no tactics no spells and talents here we go yeah turn at Eleanor so she does precise striking so she Oh, I can see these down here. I'm an idiot. They're all down at the bottom. She's good at archery. Let's give her a bow then. Here's a bow. There you go. Bows for everyone. Well, not bows for everyone. Do you... Hopefully you can use it without using arrows. I think they just give it special things. Um, but I'm going to keep on... Ooh! Something just happened, but I can't see what, but I heard a pling. What was the pling? Um, I'm going to tab out to go check OBS, so bear with me. Ooh, Laurel's my name has followed. Thank you very much. Thank you for the follow. It's good to see you. Welcome. Um, oh, and there's a bit in the chat. Um, whoa, that looks very modded. Not your first playthrough then. Sorry I missed that. Um, but... Nope, this isn't my first playthrough. I've first played this game about six or seven years ago. Um, and I've played it a few times since then. More the beginning of the game than the end of the game. Um, because I tend to come up with another idea for a character and make that character. <laughs> um, and yeah, the mods I've put in, they're basically to try and help um, help with the atmosphere, help with the gameplay. Um, I do have a list of them somewhere which I will find and I'll put in my information um, so it's easily seeable. Thank you for asking, I should have done that. Um, so yeah, and I'm planning to play all the way through because it's such a great game and it there don't seem to be too many people playing it nowadays which is a shame because it is brilliant um so there's another chest over here hello chest more elf fruit tasty but i am not that great at the game um i love it but i'm by no means a pro 